Hey guys, welcome back to High Yield Intraday Trading. I hope every one of you is doing good. So before we start discussing today's topic, let me request you all to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking on the subscribe button here. Once you click on it, you will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner. Post you subscribe to my channel. Also make sure to press the bell icon and click on all. You will get the confirmation on the left bottom corner so that whenever I upload a video, you get the notification about the same without any messes. Also, I would request you all to subscribe to my telegram channel with the name HYIT intraday calls because I share a lot of things over there and it might be helpful to you in some way or the other all right so before we start with today's discussion please allow me to mention about an offer that will reduce your capital requirements for trading various segments like the NSE futures and the MCX futures okay talking about the NSE futures you can trade contracts like nifty bank nifty SGX nifty etc with just 6000 rupees for one lot whereas in MCX you can trade one lot of crude oil copper, natural gas, etc. for just 4,000 to 6,000 rupees. Okay, for gold and silver, it will cost you around 10,000 rupees per lot. And not only this, you will be happily surprised when you get to know the other features that are being offered. I can't give you all the details here as there are many, but I will surely share all the details post you get in touch with me. In today's scenario, if you want to trade one lot of crude oil, you need to have a minimum of 1.6 lakhs as your capital, that is 1 lakh 60,000. Similarly, for Nifty, for just one lot, you need to have at least 1 lakh as your capital. Now replace 1.6 lakhs with 4,000 to 6,000 rupees and 1 lakh with 6,000 rupees. It does make a lot of difference to a retail trader like you and me right so that's the help i want to extend or offer and if you are interested then you can get in touch with me on the details that are being shown on the screen and we can take it forward all right so today i was actually going through some of the stuffs and i found something very interesting that can actually make a trader think as to what he should be doing next okay so this video is going to be about that very scenario and i would hope that post watching this video no one should be struggling to handle the, to handle that particular situation okay so the scenario is let's say for example you are following a five minutes time frame and you are into intraday trading so what would you do or what would be your plan of action if the first candle of the day is a really, really long candle? Okay, it can be a green candle or it can be a red candle. But the thing is, the candlestick that was formed in the first five minutes was really long. And also, why just the first candle of the day? It might be the case that the first three or four candles are continuous green or red candles, right? It does happen. Right? Many a times it happens. So what would you do in such a case? How would you react and how would you take an action on that particular day? Now this is the exact thing that we are going to discuss in this particular video. Okay, so let's begin and let's bring in some rules that we need to follow on such days. Okay, rule number one is never try to ride that move. Since we are following the five minutes time frame, we really cannot anticipate anything by seeing that first candle of the day. Okay, the move would be completely random. So you as a trader or we as a trader, we should not even think of entering that particular trade. Okay, so that is rule number one. Getting on to rule number two. Rule number two is do not make use of any indicator or oscillator for this kind of move. Okay, yes. You heard it right. Maybe this is the first time that I'm mentioning that do not make use of any indicators, right? But this is the situation. This is a very special and risky situation where you need to take care of this thing. Okay. If the first candle of the day, a red candle or a green candle, if it is really, really long, okay, do not make use of any indicator or oscillator for that kind of a move. Okay. The reason being these kind of moves will not respect any support and resistance levels. If you are someone like me who blindly trusts the technicals in order to initiate the trades, then you need to wait for a couple of candles to be formed for the indicators to give you the right signal. Hope that is clear. 
and that was rule number two moving on to rule number three do not get biased by the price action what i mean to see say here is let's assume that nifty opened up opened gap up and then after opening gap up it moved up further for around 100 to 150 points in the first five minutes so what you see on the chart is a really long candle right now there can be various things that you might think like few people will think that since nifty has opened gap up and moved further for 150 points there will be some profit booking that will be done so let me go ahead and initiate a short position in nifty to get some profits another couple of traders will think that since nifty has opened gap up and it further moved up for 150 points i'm damn sure that something positive is happening is happening somewhere and the bulls should take up the prices even further so let me go ahead and initiate a long trade in nifty to gain some quick profits so these are some kind of thoughts that come up in the mind right you you're getting the point right so this is the price action thing that i'm talking about i'm not saying that what you are thinking is wrong what I'm saying is the time when you are thinking that is wrong. Okay, so don't get into this trap of logical thinking almost immediately post the market opens. You will get stuck. Okay, give it some time and the market will provide you with the right opportunity to earn money. Okay, so these are the few things that you need to avoid. Now, getting on to the most important part of it, moving on to the next thing how do we trade this can we trade this of course we can can we trade this using technical analysis of course we can so let's hit the chart and let me explain you the stuffs there okay let me bring in the chart just a moment all right right so this is the five minutes time frame chart for nifty as you can see on the top left corner here now first job is to find a day when the first candle of the day was really really long uh yeah okay this is the one uh fourth of october 2022 okay just a moment let me maximize the candlestick size so that it can be clear right so i hope this is clear okay now what do you see here guys what do you see here the first candle of the day was a completely green long candle followed by another long green candle and then the rest of the the third and the fourth candles were also green so starting right from 9 15 till 9 30 all the four candles were green and it was a huge move right let's Take an approximate price once 17120 to 17 240 let's say right so 17120 uh 220 let's say for example 120 to 130 points move in the first four candles right in the first 15 to th sorry so yeah in the first 15 to 20 minutes you are getting a move of 120 to 130 points in nifty and that is or that can be considered as a huge move so what do you do what do you do now no indicators no oscillators as i said the best thing to do here is to bring in fibonacci retracement okay just a moment let me bring it in so the thing that you need to do here is you need to draw or plot fibonacci retracement okay so let me bring in fibonacci retracement now since this guy is going up fibonacci retracement has to be drawn from the day's low till the recent day's high okay so here to here okay now listen to this very carefully once you draw the fibonacci retracement now first of all when will you decide that you have to draw a fibonacci retracement is it on this fourth candle or is it on the third candle or is it on the first candle or is it on the second candle the answer is none you decide to draw the fibonacci extension post the fifth candle is closed and the fifth candle should be a red candle right so that is the time when you decide that okay let me bring in the fibonacci retracement that is point number one now point number two is 
whenever you draw whenever there is such a huge move in the initial uh, stages of market opening you will always see that it will try retracing till the 50% of the fibonacci retracement levels either it will be 23% sorry 23.6% or it will be 38.2% or it will be 50% i would say 80 75 to 80% of the time the 50% retracement is a good level of support so how do you trade that now you know the support level so how do you trade that now you get this red candle once this red candle closes you bring in the fibonacci retracement and again the next candle is also a red candle and then we get a green candle which actually takes a support at the 50% level so this is the candle which is hinting us that nifty will go up from here so initially it went up gave a beautiful retracement till the 50% uh, level of fibonacci and then it took a support here and it will again go up further so let me bring in the pencil so where will be your entry your entry will be after this candle closes right so this will be your entry your stop loss will be just below the swing low so this is a swing low right so put your stop loss here and your target again depends on what process you follow if you follow the one percent rule go for that or you can target the latest swing high so this is the swing high right just uh, sorry just below the swing you can uh, go for the target just at the swing high or just below the swing high just to make sure that you are playing safe right it, it uh, like nobody can guarantee that the swing low will be touched right so it is always uh, good or it is always safer to book your profits just below the swing highs that is what i follow got the trade right now next point that you need to remember here is fibonacci retracement has to be used only in such situations okay it should not be the case let me delete this and get back to the cursor it should not it should not be the case that you start using fibonacci retracement here as well and here as well no fibonacci retracement should be used only specifically for this situation only okay and the situation is when you get really long red or green candles in the first uh, initial stages of the market opening so here we have four green candles even if we would have had one green candle which is long enough use fibonacci retracement no problem okay so this is an example that i wanted to show in the long side now let's try uh, let me delete this okay let me delete fibonacci retracement i hope you are clear on this now let's try finding a day when we have a really long uh, red candle i actually traded it so i remember 11th 11th of october okay so let me maximize the screen here oh just a moment okay so this is 11th of uh, october guys and see the candle first five minutes candle okay starting right from 17 260 to 17170 approximately a 90 to 100 rupees move this guy gave in the first five minutes so this qualifies us to bring in the fibonacci retracement so let's do that and fibonacci retracement if we are talking about uh, uh, the move um, i mean if you are talking about the prices going down then the fibonacci retracement has to be done uh, has to be drawn from the day's high to the latest uh, day's low okay so in this case the first candle itself will be the day's uh, 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 sorry so in this case since the second candle is a green candle we sh we will not consider that okay we will draw the fibonacci retracement for the first candle itself okay so from here draw it till here Days high to days low. You under, you you are understanding the uh, point, right? Why I have I'm taking only the first five minutes candle because the second five minutes candle is a green candle. If it would have been a green candle, 
uh, sorry, a red candle, then I would have drawn it till the low of that particular red candle. Okay, so I hope you're, you're getting the point. Okay, so now let's make it a bit bigger so that it's clearer. And so, yeah, so first candle of the day, a huge red candle, right? And then you bring in the Fibonacci retracement and see the beauty of these levels. It went up till 38.2% retracement level and it started coming down. It did not cross or it did not close above the 38.2%. Right? So clearly it is facing a resistance here. So where will be your entry? Wait for another red candle to appear or to close and then you take your entry. So where will be your entry? Just a moment. Let me bring in the pencil here. So your entry in this case will be here. Okay. This will be your entry. Place your stop loss above the swing high. So this is the swing high, right? This is a swing high. So place your stop loss here. Okay. And again, target will be, again, depends on what process you follow. Okay, if you are following the 1% rule, go for the 1% rule and you can uh, book your targets here or uh, it depends. I mean, that is what matters. I mean, <laughs> what matters is you should be in a profit. Okay, so this will be your entry. This will be your stop loss and this will be your uh, target. Okay, so I hope you're getting the point. Again, let me repeat it very clearly. Let me take off these drawings. And let me repeat it very, sorry, just a moment. Let me repeat it very clearly that you should make use of Fibonacci retracement only for these kind of scenarios. And the scenario is if the first candle of the day is a really, really green or red candle. And not only the first candle of the day, if you see a series of green candles or a series of red candles, that is when you bring in the Fibonacci retracement. Okay, so I hope it is clear. Okay, so this is what I wanted to share with you guys. It might seem to be a very simple thing, but trust me on this, it has all the power to trap any trader to that matter of fact. Okay, so you need to be sensible and you need to scan the situation before initiating any of your trades. Okay, just by using any technical indicator will not fetch you with money. You need to know which technicals should be used at what time and where. That is the most important thing. Okay, so I hope you got my point here. So that's all uh, from my end, guys. And for the guys who have not watched my previous video, I have put in the video card on the top right corner of the video, the eye symbol that you see there. You can click on it and watch my previous video. And as always, we request you all to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, please do not miss the ending of this video as you will get to know some more details about HYIT that might be helpful, helpful to you in some way or the other. And please feel free to ask your questions or queries, if any, in the comment section. And and I will surely reply back to them. Okay, and also, please do not forget to like this video if you liked it. So that's all from my end. And I'll see you all later. Hope you all will stick back. Happy trading and take care of yourselves. And I'm so sorry for the blabberings. Bye-bye. <laughs> you have a good evening, guys. Bye-bye.